Hello, I'm Nicolas Julien. I'm a researcher at AIMT Atlantic, a school of engineering in France. I'm going to present the article Regular Instrument of Terrorism Error Managing the Conformity Creative Canal. The goal of the presentation is to um, discuss the problem of managing um, algorithm error. So most of the time when you speak about algorithm error, you speak about the fact that you have implementation problem of the data are not uh, good enough and uh, et cetera, et cetera. But in fact, it's very hard uh, to, uh, to correct uh, the implementation. And most of the time, even error can appear after the implementation because people evolve, uh, because uh, you have new things to do. And the question we are looking at here is about the day-to-day -day management of the activity of an algorithm and the regulation of the problems uh, which may occur on for this day-to-day uh, -day management. So the idea, uh, looking at Wikipedia, of course, is that as the uh, manager, as the users, the contributors, as the users and the managers, it may be uh, easier for them to manage the data, to understand that an algorithm is doing something um, not expected or bad, and uh, to correct it. And that's what we want to, to look at, is how Wikipedia uh, implement algorithm and manage the algorithm on the day-to-day -day, uh, activity of Wikipedia. Um, so uh, what we... Um, uh, needed to look at, of course, is about contribution management, because the core of Wikipedia is about managing what people provide, uh, contribute, how they contribute, and of course, with the um, success of Wikipedia, uh, there are even too much contributions uh, for the uh, managers, the patrons, uh, to uh, control uh, the, the, all these contributions, hence the need for uh, algorithm um, to do so. And so, uh, of course, with the exposure of vandalisms, it was even more needed to have technical tools which automatically control uh, these, uh, these contributions. So what we looked at is uh, how Cellbot works. Cellbot is one of the oldest uh, bots which do Vendant Fighter, has more than 10 years of, um, um, even 15 years uh, old. And uh, what we looked at is how people signal that there are problems or discuss the fact that Sailboat did something to them which is, was not expected or was not um, what, they, what they, they wanted. And um, how this is handled by a Sailboat um, developer or by the, all the patrollers and all the Wikipedians uh, which discuss how it works. So what we did is um, looking at all the discourses about cellbots and from cellbots and about cellbots on cellbots page, on the cellbot developer page, on the bistro, which is a place where people discussed within the French Wikipedia about the, the, the rules and the impact of the rules and how the tools work. And of course, the idea was to discuss this, that an IT cell and cellbot implements rules to control the practices, but the practices may evolve and make evolve the rules, or you may do things which are according to the rules, well implemented within the artifact, and how does that work? So the result, the first result is that yes, cellbot makes errors, and because not uh, because you cannot uh, rely always on the past to forecast the futures. People change, um, rules change, and Selbert uh, has a hard time to cope with these changes. So there are problems. Um, and the fact that there are problems is a problem in itself because it's very hard for the users when it is automated to uh, understand that they have done something which is not um, agreed upon by the, um, the algorithm, which is fair uh, regarding the rules of the project. And so users, and even if, if they have done something wrong, it's very hard for them to understand what was wrong because uh, it is too automated and it's uh, very hard to understand the restrictions of the, um, the tools. And where do you go to complain? 
it's also hard, even if everything is always right and explained, it's very hard to understand the explanation. It takes a lot of time and effort. And even if you know where to go, you have to make extra effort to make your case and to defend your case against a sailboat and a, its creator and the community, which is trust uh, the algorithm, uh, the, the, the tools, the bot, more than newcomers, which can have hard time to explain what they have done, etc. So there is overconfidence on sailboat, which impediment the capacity of the project to evolve. But there, there are two consequences to that. The first one is quite classic in private platform and algorithm management. It's that there is really the, the, the automations make harder or make the, the boundaries between simple contributors, which are just regulated by these tools, and policy makers, who are those who make the tools and control the other by the tools, here the community. So it makes the boundary very stronger, very higher and it make harder for the contributors to enter the community and one this is one of the consequences and uh, this is because you have difficulties to detect to qualify and correct discrepancies uh, of, of the tools and it is very uh, hard for the people to do so but at the same time as it is automated it is possible to do so you can learn you can try retry retry without fatigue from the tools as it could, you could have fatigue from the users. So it is needed for the platform to survive. As I explained, you have lots of vandalism, but it's not very different from private platform. What is really different within the Wikipedia framework is that even if it's hard, you have these spaces of discussion. You have places where you can make your case and where you can look and you can explain what's happened and where the problem is discussed. You have an open feedback loop. So what is very new um, with Wikipedia is that you have two spaces created by created or reinforced by the algorithm. The spaces of production, very controlled, very automated, and very hard for people to understand how it works. But it protects a, a space where you have the space of project management when you can discuss and which is open to everybody and is still open to everybody. So this is quite classic. This is more different. And I thank you very much for your intention.